I need to work and my boys pretty much understand that and I need them to see that their mother is working and I need them to feel proud of me. So my baby was born and he was three months and Papa passed away. So it was, uh, in my life, there was it was like a major loss and a major gain. Oh, I look at my uh, kids' baby pictures and I, I, I get into depression. I want to cry because I'm like, it's like a different human being, you know. I had control of them. They were very needy of me and I feel that it's gone. I need to work and my boys pretty much understand that and I need them to see that their mother is working and I need them to feel proud of me. So when I go to work, actually I go with a little bit of, you know, pride stuck in my pocket and I'm like, ooh, like a little bit, little dance in my step that my boys actually get to see me work because I've grown up in a house where my mum never worked. She sat home and looked after us and that's also, let me tell you, a thankless full-time job today. I want to say thank you to my mom because she really, really bent over backward for all three of us and being a parent is not easy. It's it's really not easy. It's very hard. Uh, so, I went through a lot of stress when uh, I was pregnant. Like, my father was detected with a four-stage cancer and very close to my father and I had a baby. So, my baby was born and he was three months and Papa passed away. So, it was, uh, in my life, there was it was like a major loss and a major gain. I didn't know what to do and it was postpartum. Women who have gone through postpartum know what it is. But I had my husband standing by me, I had my mother, my sister, my doctor. I couldn't breastfeed it very much. You know, I couldn't three, four months because I was in so much stress. But my doctor just told me a thing, Aditi, you are a human. Just because you have become a parent and just because you have become a mother, that doesn't take away from you that you are your father's daughter. Why would we take it away from you? And if it's not happening, it's not happening. No, I look at my uh, kids' baby pictures and I, I I get into depression. I want to cry because I'm like, it's like a different human being, you know? I had control of them. They were very needy of me and I feel that it's gone. So I always give up, tell my parents and mothers, just absorb it. When you have a baby, just absorb every minute of it. They grow up. Now I love it because now Shania and me are really good friends. Me and Jahan also, we travel on our own, just Jahan and me and uh, you know, if Sanjay is busy, Shania is busy. So I've got like best friends within them and so that's also a different phase and I'm loving that. So there are phases, you know, but just enjoy every phase of your kids.